Admiral's Log, September 7th, 1930. The Interbellum, they call it. A time between wars. A boring time, I say. I'm a military man. I want to strategize and then execute those strategies. Seeing my ships at their moorings, mothballed to save money, is not how I want to lead my forces. It is not how I want to lead my nation. Nevertheless, these five years of relative quiet have given me some time to tend to matters that I normally don't get around to. The researchers have managed to come up with several new technologies which will all help us in future wars. Almost all of the ships have been refit to implement these new technologies. From radar, to upgrades to turrets, to better engines, our ships have been improved wherever possible. And now it is time to poke the Italians some more. They still haven't given us the territory that I want, so we'll just have to go knocking again. This time, we will go knocking with 18.9 inch guns. Let's see what these new guns can accomplish. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Big Guns, episode 22. We find ourselves in September 1930. That means for the last few years not much has happened, and yet a lot has. I've been expanding my navy, I now have a bunch more destroyers that are being built, and they're gonna come out of construction in a month. I have seven months until the Braunschweig and Beowulf are gonna be joining the fleet. That is the 18.9 inch Super Yamatos. And then we have the Heimdall, which is another 24 months from construction. In the meanwhile, I am also upgrading my shipyards to make ever bigger ships. This is going to be a maximum of 129,000 tons, and we're about halfway there, expected to need a little over a year to complete that. Economic growth is still sitting on about 19% per year, and with that, my naval budget constantly increases, and I'm constantly spending that on further expansion of the navy. Now, I have a bit of a looming war with the Italians. I'm now at minus 99 relations with them. And I think it is time to start kicking the fleet into gear. The Italians are still suffering from economic stagnation slash, uh, well, destruction, I suppose. Their growth is minus 7% per month. And their naval budget is less than half of mine. I'm not even sure how their naval funding have reached minus 56 million. They might have taken out a loan or something like that. At any rate, they still have a lot of men that they can use to crew their ships. And remember the British who were out of men quite a while ago? Well, their crew pool is back to almost 100,000. Their GDP is 243 billion. And they have an enormous naval budget. They've recouped their ship count to 68, and they're building another 5. Anyway, first we're going to activate the fleet, we're going to send them to the Mediterranean, and we're going to once again declare war on Italy. I am eager to send these guys to meet the enemy. Uh, the fairly outdated Turingia is still out here. Oh, by the way, I first have to reactivate all my ships. This is probably going to make my budget look a little different. Seeing as the ships now, in multiball situation, cost 2 million a month. Full crew situation, 6 million. So I'm probably going to have to cut back on some spending. Especially the growing of the economy. To make sure that I can afford all these ships actually being activated. I think this is all of them. There's one destroyer mothballed, right. Yep, everybody's active. Uh, <laughs> monthly balance, minus 143 million a month. Yes, but hear me out. This is something I can fix because I can reduce my naval capacity expansion. I can reduce my tech funding a little bit. And the moment that we go to war, well, I suspect that we can warrant a bit more money for the Navy. Okay, I'm going to have one task force over there. That's going to be uh, the Hessen, the Mecklenburg, and a couple of heavy cruisers and destroyers. That's one group. Uh, we got Scharnhorst, König Wilhelm. Yeah, this is a nice small task force. We can send those there to Naples. In Hamburg, 
we have a group that's going to go to Sicily. So that's the Pommern and the Mars. Uh, sorry, the Pommern and the Friedrich der Grosse. Two heavy cruisers and four DDs. And then we have the fleet over here at Kiel, which of course includes the Grosse Kurfürst with the 17.9 inch guns. This group is going to sit here. Um, I don't want to send both Fritjof and Grosse Kurfürst in one group. Because they got those massive guns which fire every half an hour. Let's send the Preussen. Two heavies, two lights and two DDs. The Italians are probably going to be fairly worried about the situation. Um, projecting some power here with a couple of heavy cruisers and a light cruiser and a DD. And I think that I still have some ships here. We're going to send those to the eastern flank of Italy. And we're going to proclaim that Italy is going to be very swiftly surrounded by... Well, at least a large portion of the German Navy. And I suspect that once they see all these ships coming in, they're going to be pretty concerned about what is happening. And they're going to be... Yep, there we go. <laughs> they're going to be threatening us with war if we do not show a sign of reducing tension. Fuck off. Minus 10 relations with Italy. We should gather the press to announce that we are mobilizing our forces. Well, we kind of did that. To prepare for a war breakout as a response to continual harassment by the Italians. Let's go to war. During a state dinner in the British Empire, there was a heated discussion between our ambassador and members of the British Empire's government. The Prime Minister asks you how we could best handle this embarrassing situation. You think our ambassador was trying to defend our country's rights. Immediately recall the ambassador? No. Apologize to... What? Do I really look like somebody who's going to apologize to the British? And give them 153 million. No. Absolutely not. A political party that has won the majority in parliament, you mean me, wants to push through a bill to reduce financing of the fleet. What? All these pop-ups are happening at the exact same time, and it kind of means that we're already at war with the Italians, with this pop-up still coming up. I get more naval prestige. 457 right now. I can just ignore it. Um, I don't like my naval budget being cut by another percent. No, this. Here we go. German relations with the British are improving? Really? That's unexpected. Why am I friends with the British? 71? Okay, how's the Austro-Hungarian? <laughs> The Austro-Hungarians are going to be entering the war on my side. Um, well, soon. Very, very soon. The fleet's been mobilized and is on the way to the Mediterranean, where we currently already have more power projection than the Italians by a little bit on the western. Uh, the eastern Med, not so much. Holy shit. Look at the power projection of the Austro-Hungarians at 104,000. I kind of forgot that I still have some ships over here. And Valletta has a whole one destroyer. Let's have the V-16 move to meet the ships over there. And I now have 237 million in monthly balance. What to do, what to do, what to do. I want to wait. I want to wait until we get the bigger shipyard. Um, I can boost this. I can nah, not quite boost that. Right now, I'm not researching any priority. And I'm just seeing everything grow up, or, well, go up uh, evenly. We're going to be getting new turret mechanisms, meaning full automatic gun reload. This is going to be very valuable, because it means that our big guns will reload faster. Uh, currently, we're on semi-auto loaders, I think. This is plus 20% gun reload. This is plus 15. So it's not massive, but 5% on these numbers, like 300 seconds, that's a lot. Control stations are going to be going up. That's good for accuracy. Uh, cruiser designs are coming up. We're getting 18,000 ton heavy cruisers. Small guns. <laughs> oh, actually, it's the five inchers. I have five inchers. I have a lot of five inchers on my destroyers. They're going to be pretty happy about this. All right, let's go.
Here we go. We're meeting the Italians once again in the Western Mediterranean. They have had some time to build more ships. They've had some time to do more research. They have, however, not really had a time to rebuild that much of their economy. So I suspect that a bit of pushing their economy down, sinking some transports, that should give me some options. Here we go. The Italians are out in an enormous fleet. And they apparently have been building new ships. Sweet Jesus, a lot of them. This is my task force with the Admiral Hipper, Shear, Atlantis, and V-16. Now, I might be packing 11.9-inch guns, which is... <laughs> it's bigger than the battleships. Oh, really? Uh, good lord, look at that. 96 million for a ship. They have definitely upgraded. Their crew training, however, is lacking. I'm seeing cadets, green, green, cadets, cadets. They don't really know how to make use of these ships. I have radar. Holy shit, the amount of ships that they have is ridiculous. They sent out the entire Italian Navy after this. Good. Come fight me. This is mostly going to be a blow to morale. Once the Italian Navy figures out that my heavy cruisers can probably outshoot their battleships. Especially with the advent of radar, I will be able to be accurate. I'll be able to detect the enemy, hopefully, before they detect me. Especially since I have relatively smaller ships. And I'll be able to start shooting these guys before they shoot me. So, we got the Admiral Shear, we got the Atlantis, and we got the Admiral Hipper. We also have the 16, which has yet to figure out that it needs to start going somewhere. Acceleration is really good on these ships. And this is one of the... Yeah, it's one of the new designs. The V-16 was the name giver of this class, if I'm not mistaken. It carries double barrel 15, oh, sorry, 5.9 inch guns. And they are pretty decent fire starters. High capacity HE shells. They move at 31 knots, which for the DD is not terribly quick. It should be fast enough to make sure that they don't take too much fire. All right. The plan is to close in and uh, just spot the enemy fleet first, naturally. I can shoot out to 31 kilometers. These guys have... Oh, shit! I overlooked this class. They don't have radar. You do. But your tower isn't very good. Oh, shit. So we're definitely going to need this guy as a spotter. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Use stealth. Fire from stealth. 18% accuracy. I like that. Looks like the Italians are having a bit of a collision. Throw some high explosive in their face. We are firing base fuse. Not great. Should be able to set a fire or two. The 5.9ers are also flinging HE. That's good. Yeah, we're going to have to turn away quite a bit. Our guns on these ships are bow stern. So I'll be able to bring most of my firepower to bear against the enemy. And the 11... Oh, sorry, the 16 is going to have to maintain the spotting without getting detected. If I can just cripple or downright eliminate one of their ships, that'd be great. Because then my battleships are going to have a much easier time against the Italians. I mean, 11.4 inch guns is a bit of a joke. It's 11.4s, it's 7.1s, 2.6, 4.2, 3.5, 2.6, and 3.5s. Already damaging the secondary guns a bit. They still haven't seen me. Range. 14 clicks. Not too big a fan of that. I don't know what their speed is. And that concerns me because I can only do 25 knots. Meaning that my ability to disengage from this fight is not great. Especially if the Italians bring those really fast light cruisers of theirs. Which might... No. Which will be able to catch me. 
They're, yeah, they're taking some fire, but it's largely inadequate. We're firing AP shells capped. Throw some HE, sorry, some AP. I think it will not do much. Perhaps we can knock out the tower. That'd be a big win. Blocked. Blocked. Pen. Flooding. Okay, unexpected. Must have gone right through the bows. Yeah, bow four, four belt penetration. Range, maintaining 14.6. We're firing over the shoulder largely, which means shelling just over the starboard side. Yep, I believe all guns are firing. Sheer check. No, not quite. Wow. Serious waves today. Yeah, calm wind, clear weather, calm waves. <laughs> Why is my bow going into the water so much? Hold. Need to take a pretty picture of you. There we go. Alright. So, that battleship will not be as quick. I need you to keep me informed. Identification 5-8. We hit something else. Main belt, partial pen. That's pretty impressive. So if you get heavy cruisers with massive guns, then they really don't take shit from a battleship like that. Especially since the battleships are not fast enough. More so, I'm faster at the moment. And I think the rest of the AI fleet is set to screen... So they're not actually making any moves to close the distance against my fleet. Well, task force. 87%. Very good. I need to slow down a few knots. 92%. 93. 94. Destroyed a torpedo launcher. Must have already lost a good bunch of crew as well. 13.8. See, these things can do 25 knots, so they're not faster than I am. And it looks like it's trying to disengage. Chance to pen? 6%. But... I think that the Aquila Doro is trying to disengage. Sailing to starboard. And thereby making her port side a bit more feasible to pen. Turbines, that's pretty old. Crypt 3 armor... High-end barbette armor. Oh, I'm flooding something else here. Anti-torp 2, single hull bottom, standard bulkheads. Um, cap ballistic and cap ballistic 2 AP. These are deadly ships. Range, 24-7 on the HE, 25-5 on the AP. Yet, if you can't see me, then it's largely academic. All this firepower of yours. Flooding. See, my pen chance must be going up. Yeah, it was 6%, now it's 11. Oh, shit. That's not part of the plan. Go find him again. Need to set you guys to full speed to boost my accuracy even more. Hello again. Boom. Yes. Whoa, that was a good hit. That was an aft belt pen. Very nicely done. Do it again. Missed. And these are expensive ships. 96 million. What's so expensive about them? Because I'm not really seeing it. These guns... They're not terribly impressive. I mean, an 11.4 inch gun costs them 1.1 million. Mine are 3.8, so this is essentially a bargain. What is so expensive? Your displacement? It's not your speed. Aux 2? It's not that impressive. Semi-oil? You're not really spending a whole lot on that. RDF? That generally adds a bit. 
I'm not really sure. Something is making these things rather expensive. Now, this is just the first of the battleships. There we go. There's more. Hello. You're another 11.4, right? Yep. Okay. We're still on this guy. I just think that this guy is easier to pen. Considering his flat starboard side. Nice sailing there. Keep that up. Cadets. Come on. Give me some pens. I want to see some floodings on these guys. Nope, no, no. Maybe the Aquila. I'm hearing more collisions. Ah, oh, nice. She destroyed a secondary gun. This thing has a ton of those, so one of them is not really going to finish this guy off. Oh, even the DD itself is shooting now. Contact relatively close. This could spot me. What are you? You're a heavy cruiser. Shoot this. DD, don't get too close there. I'm not sure about their spotting capabilities. Seeing as I'm within 10 kilometers, I'm a little concerned about getting detected. I can end the battle if I want to. Disengaging at a really fairly good point. No, look, if we can pen a battleship with AP, we can surely pen a heavy cruiser. I don't want to swap away from AP. We've still got hundreds of shells. We'll be fine. These are 8.1 inch guns, 6.2, 3.5, 2.1. .2 Boom, there you go. Okay, so we lose line of sight at about 10 clicks or so. Next salvo going out against something. Here you are. Shoot this. Range, 9.4, yeah. I don't think they're very quick, these heavy cruisers. Ah, hello. There's another one of your division mates. And to think that these are just the heavy cruisers. When the Fritjof with her 18.9 inch guns arrives... Well, it's gonna get rough. <clears throat> it's gonna get really rough for the Italians. I might start one-shotting ships. Range, 8.9. Okay. Slow down a bit more. You're doing a fantastic roll as a spotter here, 16. Keep that up. I've done 5.5k damage. I've taken none. That's excellent. Can we pen on this angle? Hold on, we're 10 kilometers out from that cruiser. They might start spotting me. If they spot me, I have a problem. Because then all the big guns from the battleships, battle cruisers, they're all going to go off against me. Flooding. This could eliminate it. Okay, I need you to turn around again. Yeah, he's done. Hello there, Idra. Next heavy cruiser, please. Eliminate the closest ships. You're nine kilometers out. Don't get too close, my friend. Thirty-four percent chance to hit. Look at that! Right through the bow. Four belt pen. Nine hundred damage. They cannot sustain hits like these for very long. I'd need about four, maybe five, and that'll sink the cruiser. She's turning slightly. What if we fling HE at them? What would that do? Nothing, because it's not hitting. Hit the target. Miss, 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 miss. Blocked. It's just setting some fires. It's not really doing much. Now we go. Damage to the main tower. We got many bulkheads. No, AP is our better bet. 
Because we have a better chance to pen this than the battleship. They still haven't seen me. Flooding. Flooding on the stern, I suspect. 8.5 away from the DD. Closest CA is 8.7. They still haven't seen it. Boom. I need to get these guys upgraded with a radar system, though. They're relatively older cruisers, yet they're proving that even an older cruiser with a big gun is an enormous foe for ships that are, well, <laughs> even older than this. They're going to try and turn back. Sadly, thereby exposing even more of the ship. Come on, big guns. Nope, lost them. DD, spot them again. Uh, put some HE pressure on that battleship. 12-7. 32% chance to hit. Destroyed a secondary gun with HE. Yes, because of course we do. Some of these secondary guns just are not armored at all. What? You penned a four belt with HE. Yeah, your four belt's three inches, you idiot. I'm 12.7 clicks out. Sure, I can pen that. <laughs> so we're going to sink a battleship with high explosive. Because they forgot to put armor on this ship. Shit, we've been detected. We've been made. What did they make? Who did you spot? The Idra spot at the 16. Smoke up and get the hell out. There's the crippled heavy cruiser. Damage the main gun. They're still shooting at the 16. Holy shit, you just hit him for 2200? Yeah, you did. Main tower, pen. 2200 damage. These things supposedly can only do 454. So the amount of damage that these cruisers are doing with HE is ridiculous. Carry on. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we suddenly switching target? Finish off this battleship. Because this guy is really not in any good state to be repairing any damage. Considering their main tower has been dead. So, if I'm able to put enough fires, it'll get overwhelmed by fires. And we might even get another pen on their stern, because the aft belt's even less. At 2.7, stop detecting my destroyer. Flooding. Big guns campaign. Working as intended. Another flooding. This guy's done for. Wow. Okay. So that's how you swiftly eliminate one of the ships with high explosive. I am still detected. Destroy the torpedo launcher. There's something smaller here shooting or spotting my destroyer. I'm not a fan. Thankfully, they only have a 1% chance to hit. There. It's this little shit. This is spotting me. Load the HE and eliminate it. DD, hard to starboard. Eliminate this light cruiser. It's one of their dangerous light cruisers. It's the fast guys with the torpedoes. Yeah, they need to be eliminated with extreme prejudice. They're far, far too dangerous. And they can intercept me. Destroyers. Cruisers. Sorry, destroyer and cruisers. Full ahead flank. There you go. Destroy the torpedo launcher. Flooding. This guy's not alone. He's part of a three-group division. Three-ship division. And our chance to hit him is probably not great. But he's been crippled. That's a good start. Okay, preventatively, I'm going to start turning the whole group around. 
Because I suspect that I might have been torped. And even though they have a theoretical range of 8.5 kilometers, practically, that generally means they could do more. Because this is when the, the ship stops launching torps. Like here, the 8 point something range. It doesn't mean the torpedoes instantly run out of fuel. That's the situation. They have lost sight of the shear. It's because the CL division is falling back. Chance the pen? 2%. HE. And the battle. Tempting. I mean, I've sunk a heavy... No, I sunk a battleship. Not a heavy cruiser. They've lost sight of the hipper. They've lost sight of the DD. I have, once again, the advantage of stealth. Very good. Slow down. Hello. Ah, it's you again. It's you again. Welcome back, my friend. The Aquila Doro. Already crippled. Time to cripple some more. And here we can see one of their battle cruisers in its natural habitat. Armed with 13.4 inch guns, 16 6.3s, and a couple of smaller things. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I probably would not want to be in one of these turrets when this thing goes off. I think you're going to lose your eardrum at the very least and, well, potentially your life at the very worst. Through the sheer shock. 16 can still run at 24 knots. This is fine. What? Oh, we're hitting something else. The Aquila has another flooding that they need to deal with. That's one of their BCs, isn't it? Yeah, it's another BC div. They got six of those. Um, switch fire to the battle cruisers. Partial. Still firing AP. I suspect we can make that work. Oh, shit. Hello. What are you? You're a light cruiser. Do you think that's enough funnels? Must be a speedboat. Otherwise, you don't need that many funnels. Shoot the closest target, HE. A light target. Oh shit, we've been detected. We've been made. Come on, this guy needs to go, as well as his friend over there. This is going to be uncomfortable. They have only spotted the DD. Oh, we lost sight. Shit. Yeah, they are definitely spotting the 16 here. Fire damage here. Ooh. Quite nice. Yep. Here. High priority target. 23% ID, 24. That's going to take me a while. Increase the flank. We need to get a bit farther away from these guys. San Marco Grande is still on fire. I can end the battle if I so desire. I just don't really feel like I need to leave yet. I don't want to eliminate the entire navy, of course. I want to have something to do for my big ships. Hello. Yet, using these heavy cruisers is so comfortable. Hello, what are you? You're a DD. Holy crap! That's 12 torpedo tubes? 14 torpedo tubes, even. You can bet your ass they're launching those things. Torpedo range. Wait. 6-3? But that's a... That's that light cruiser speedboat. Okay. We're going to start heading away. I think we're going to have outstayed our welcome, if only a little bit. Because now the majority of the Italian fleet is starting to really do some damage. My cruisers aren't really that expensive, so... Ooh, hello. Seeing as I 
Already killed a battleship. I'm already ahead. Even if I lose all of my ships. Standard bulkheads, cramped quarters. That's a problem for you. Um, focus on this. H, E to A, P. I've lost the Atlantis. I'm still seeing the destroyer. Something else. Two and a half percent, no. Well, actually, the amount of damage that we're doing is not bad. At this rate, they're going to have to... Ooh. <laughs> they're going to have to pay a hefty repair price. Okay, they've lost sight of the 16. So you're shooting what? The hipper? Hey. This has lost sight of the 16. So why am I still taking fire? This is why my heavy cruisers need radar. Wow. Fantastic chance to pen. As I say, that is going down. 8%. Something... Something got flooded. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure what I was flooding, but we'll just have to look into that at the post-battle results screen. These cruisers are just bullying battle cruisers. Look at that. At this rate, this battle cruiser could just flood. We are taking fire, to be sure. Oh, come on, a few more hits and your ship will sink. Is this one of the torpedo boys again? No, it's one of the speedboats. Okay. CA is back. Back, 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 back. No, I don't mean to make it one div. Split. Turn. Oh, Hipper's now leading the div. Great. Sheer and Atlantis are taking a bit more fire than I would like. Switch fire to this. HE only. I think it's time to start making an exit. Because my ships are taking a bit too much damage, and seeing as I start at a top speed of 25, it's going to get progressively worse for the shear. She can do 22 knots. Torpedo in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Oh, joy. Anybody order torpedo soup today? Because that's what the Italians are serving. I can't say I'm a fan. Ah, oh, they're smoking up. The Animoso with your 9.5 kilometer range torps. We're in the clear, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. 16? Don't get accidentally torped now, that would be really bad. Uh, secondaries on the Animoso. This is something the 5.9s might be able to handle. Shear. Oh, Shear is limping away. 21.5. Light Cruiser Umbria. What sort of torpedoes you got? 8.5s. Oh, that's one of the newers. Yeah, that's one of the newer ships. Wasn't the Umbria the one that they offered me up for reparations? I think that was that ship. Put the primes on the Umbria, please. Yeah, secondaries too, whatever. It's too dangerous of a ship to let live. There you go. Destroyed a funnel and some fire. Can you even pen this with the San Giacchino? No. <laughs> Not very well, anyway. Partial pen. Rudder's out. I suspect they're a little bit out of torpedo range. Yeah. I'm moving outside of their torpedo range, which is why they're trying not 
or rather why they're not trying to launch their torpedoes. Chance the pen? 65. Go for AP. I don't think I'll be able to sink the San Marco. San Marco Grande at the moment. It'd be nice. It's another 96 million ship. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, they're disengaging. At least they're disappearing. If they lost sight of me, they lost sight of the Atlantis. It's over there. So now we're firing at what? The San Marco. Okay. I doubt we can pen that right through the nose. Shoot the San Giacchino. Sorry, San Gioacchino. And try to maintain a disengage. They've lost sight of the Admiral Shear. Yet their ships are so big that I can very easily spot them. Oh, they, they acquired the Shear again. Crap. Partial pen on that. All these little pens and damages, they're good for me because it means the Italian fleet's going to go back into dock for repairs. And that means a lot of repair costs for the Italians. I suspect that my ships will be down for repairs like one month, one month, two months. One month for the V-16 as well. Oh, I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. There is a spotter out here somewhere. Oh, that was a ton of damage. What was that? Four deck pen, 13.4 inch gun. I think the shear is dead. Disengage. Disengage. Yeah, the shear is flooding and cannot be stopped. Done. Okay, it's unfortunate. These things are 22 million. I've sunk a battleship, so I am ahead. Let's disengage. Let's just leave. Bastarda. Bastarda, indeed. Hipper's done 19,000 damage. Atlantis 17k, Shear did 7.5, and, and the DD did 60, uh, sorry, 1900. Not a bad result, considering they were outnumbered, I don't know, 8 to 1? There were a lot of Italian ships out here. Come on, full ahead flank. The only thing that can catch me right now... Well, not the only thing. I was going to say the light cruisers, but the battle cruiser can also do 29 knots. Okay, let's end the battle. The game is going to give me that option, I'll take it. 7,000 victory points versus 400. I have sunk the battleship Idra of the Andrea Doria class. I've sunk a heavy cruiser. I have badly damaged another. Uh, one, two DDs are dead. Not bad. Good outcome. Especially considering I was just facing a couple of cruisers. Or, well, I was facing them with a couple of cruisers. So, yeah, I'll take these odds. Light, light, sunk, light. So this is one month, one month, one month. Easy. Uh, next battle. But this is going to be the next episode. It's the Andrea Doria again, already damaged. And some of their escorts. I think the rest of the battleships and battle crews have retreated to port. So next time, next episode, you can join me for the battle with the Scharnhorst, the König Wilhelm, and the remaining Italian ships. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, cruiser bullying act. And I'll see you soon for the next episode.